How's it going guys, my name is Dom and today I'm going to show you how to use the find index method on arrays in JavaScript. So find index allows you to search through an array and return the index of an element which matches or satisfies a testing condition that you pass in. So for example, here we have an array called people with a bunch of objects in there. These objects are people, we have our name occupation and then so on. So with these people right here, we want to search through this array and find the index of the person who is a dentist. So basically we're saying we want to try and get index 1 from this array. We can do this using the find index method. So going down here, we're firstly just going to uh, define a function which is basically just the testing function for this uh, scenario. So we can say function is a dentist, which takes in a person as a parameter. Now person is going to be one of these objects right here. What we're going to do is say return person dot occupation equals dentist. This here will return true or false depending on if the person's occupation is a dentist. Now using the find index method we're going to apply this function to each element in this array and if this if this function returns true then the find index method will return the index of the element which this function returned the true from. So if we just uh, console.log uh, uh, what's it called? people so people dot find index and pass in the is dentist testing function to this we'll see the output on the screen so going into the browser we'll just refresh and we see one because the index of this uh, object right here is one and obviously if you want to access this this object we can simply just say okay console.log people to find index but we're just going to say people and then put the brackets around that right there and that will then access the the element at, at index one of the array. Let's just refresh this one right here and we get name Eric occupation dentist. So it's very similar to the find method on arrays except this time you're actually finding the index not the actual element itself. But that's all for this video thank you for watching and see you later.